Hi, welcome back. In this video, let's see how to make paneer butter masala in an instant pot. Paneer butter masala is Indian cottage cheese cooked in a gravy of tomatoes and onions. It's very rich in texture. The first step is to pressure cook the ingredients. Now let's look at the ingredients. Add one and half tomato chopped into a bowl. I'm gonna do a pot in pot pressure cook. Now add half an onion diced. This recipe is very thick in texture. So I'm gonna add around two tablespoons of cashew. For garam masala, I'm gonna add around one inch stick of cinnamon and two green cardamom. Next, add few pieces of ginger and two pods of garlic. Add around two cups of water into this. Let's look at the IP settings. For pot in pot, first I'm gonna add around one cup of water into the liner. Now place the trivet and place this bowl, close the lid close the instant pot, set pressure cook to 7 minutes and make sure the whistle is in sealing mode. Seven minutes are done. Now I'm going to do a quick release. Now open the lid and let this mixture cool for a while. And then I'm going to blend this well. I'm going to use a hand blender and blend this. The key step is to blend this very smooth. If you want it even smoother, you can strain this liquid. Now I'm going to turn on saute mode and wait for the inner pot to heat up. Once the inner pot is hot, add around 3 tablespoons of butter. Stir it around to help the butter melt. Once the butter melts, adjust the saute temperature to low. low. You do not want your spices to get burnt so make sure your saute temperature is in low. Add around one tablespoon of red chili powder. This recipe is not spicy so I'm adding just one tablespoon. After a minute add the puree. And let this boil in low temperature for a while. Let it simmer in saute mode for around 5 minutes. After few minutes add around 1 teaspoon of salt. After 2 minutes add kasturi methi leaves. These are dried kasturi methi. Add around 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. 
add around 1 teaspoon of cumin powder. And mix it well. This is around 400 grams of paneer. I have diced these into one inch cubes and the, and the gravy is cooked well for five minutes now. So I'm gonna add paneer into this. Be very careful. And once you add paneer, do not over mix it. Just gently coat the paneer and let this saute for 10 minutes to avoid splatter you can close the lid come to a boil it's been around five minutes so now I'm gonna add around two tablespoons of cream Do a taste test at this point and if you find it too spicy you can add more cream into it. After adding the cream it is ready to be served. Add cilantro on top of it and you can turn off instant pot. <laughs> 